Bobby and Tap, and this is Bloodhorse.com's recap of day two from the Phasic Tipton October yearling sale. This video is brought to you by TaylorMade Sales Agency. Colts dominated the Tuesday session as they comprised the top eight hips of the day. Tied at $250,000 for the day's top price were hips 662, a son of Street Boss from Hiddenbrook's consignment that was purchased by Team D, and hip 584, a candy ride colt bought by John Oxley from Millridge Sales. One of three yearlings to make 200000 was Hip 626, a son of first crop yearling sire Victor's Cry, who stood in Canada until relocating to stand at Spinthrift in Kentucky next year for a $3,500 stud fee. The colt was purchased by agent Alistair Roden and was consigned by Allied Bloodstock, whose Clark Shepard discussed the colt and the current yearling market. Very fortunate, very blessed just to have the opportunity to represent the horse. You know, he, the horse, did all the work. Uh, we were asked to uh, to represent the horse, and we first time we saw him, the hair stood up on my neck. It seems as though everybody's risk um, appetite has shrunk. I mean, nobody's just buying a horse anymore. Um, so there again, you have to feel fortunate and blessed if you have that horse. They're few and far between, you know, just like this one that just sold. But um, you know, we just have to roll with the punches. This is just—it's uh, a little hard to put your finger on. I mean, and we were really, really confused in September just because of, because we represented the horse as well. They were good horses, and it just some of them just didn't work out. The day two average was virtually unchanged from last year at thirty six thousand six hundred and eighty eight, and the median dropped from eighteen thousand dollars last year to sixteen thousand this year. The buyback rate of twenty nine percent was better than the first session, but eleven percent higher than twenty fourteen second day. Fazek Tipton President Boyd Browning discussed the day's results. All in all, I thought the self like it had a little bit more energy. Uh, you know, I thought yesterday we probably didn't start off real strong just the way the catalog fell, and it took a little while to get some energy and enthusiasm. But once we got going yesterday, I thought the market felt better, and it felt better again today. The good news is, is that the buyers are all complaining, and it's not easy to buy a horse. Uh, and I guess the bad news is the sellers are all saying it's not easy to sell a horse. So once again, you know, we seem to have, you know, somewhat parity in the marketplace in terms of, of buyers and sellers uh, both working pretty diligently. Uh, but, you know, it was a, there's certainly a, a, a vibrant marketplace. Um, you know, we you know, had a record catalog that we've put together and if things continue, you know, the results, if we double the results after today, you know, we'll set a record for the gross for this sale. Uh, pretty remarkable, the advances. Uh, as you look over the last five years of this sale, I mean, it's impossible to sustain the growth and the increases that the trend analysis, it would be impossible to continue that slope. Uh, you know, I think we're seeing a little bit of a maturation of this marketplace, uh, but all in all, it's, a, it's a, I think it's become a very viable option for people to, to sell a horse, whether it's a later maturing horse or might have a minor injury that occurs along the way. Uh, but there's certainly a, you know, a, a very legitimate marketplace, whether you've got a horse that's worth $10,000 or whether you've got a horse that's worth you know, in excess of $200,000, and I think we saw that again today. Check back on bloodhorse.com tomorrow for our recap of day three from the Phasic Tipton October yearling sale.